Good morning. So uh, let us start general microbiology. The first topic will be the history. Among history, I will discuss the important eminent microbiologist. To start with Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur, again, he is known as the father of microbiology. He has contributed various things like he has discovered the method of pasteurization of milk. Fermentation principles He has also laid down the germ theory of life Various sterilization principles Like autoclave Hot air oven All this, the basic principle was laid down by Louis Pasteur he has discovered the various vaccines like cholera vaccine, anthrax vaccine, rabies vaccine. Not the vaccines which are in use now, but the first stage of the vaccines for cholera, anthrax, and rabies are discovered by uh, Louis Pasteur. Of course, now those are much modified and the later advanced vaccines are used. So, these are the various contributions laid down by Louis Pasteur. And the second eminent microbiologist is Robert Koch. Robert Koch. And he is also very popular in the field of uh, microbiology. Many authors, the name Robert Koch is the father of modern microbiology. He has also laid down various principles like he has used solid medium for use of bacterial culture. He has feared, first time he has isolated bacteria in pure culture. He has developed the concept that we can isolate bacteria into in pure culture. Hanging drug for bacterial motility demonstration. Again, the principle was laid down by Robert Koch. He has also introduced the staining technique. He has told that by staining, we, uh, we can demonstrate the bacteria in much better way. Aniline dye he has used first. Aniline dye he had used first. And the most popular uh, discovery of Robert Koch is Koch postulate and Koch phenomena. First, I will tell you about Koch phenomena. It was uh, demonstrated in tuberculosis. They say that uh, injection of the TB antigen, crude TB antigen, in susceptible in guinea pigs leads to development of induration. Induration of crude tuberculosis antigen in susceptible guinea pigs. Guinea pigs leads to a uh, development of induration which he has named as Koch phenomenon. What is Koch postulate? Koch postulate was the most important uh, uh, contribution of Robert Koch. Koch postulate tells about the association of a bacteria with a disease. This is, it says that a microbes is said to be linked with a disease said to be the causative agent of a disease if four criteria are fulfilled the first criteria is the microbes should be constantly associated with the disease there should be constant association of the microbes with the disease second is you should be able to isolate the microbes from the clinical sample from the clinical sample of the patient, you should be able to isolate the microbe. When you inject the microbe into experimental animal, it should produce similar disease. And 
and you should be re isolate you should be able to re isolate the microbes from the experimental animals you should be able to re isolate the microbe from the samples of experimental animals so these are the four postulates under koch postulate later on the fifth criteria was introduced by uh, his followers and according to this they say that there should be antibody production also against the microbes against the bacteria there should be antibody uh, production so serological response is the fifth criteria which was introduced later of course now molecular cost postulate has been laid down currently molecular cost postulate has been laid down and according to this it is the gene of the microbe rather than the microbe per se which should be constantly associated with the disease according to this it is a gene of the microbe it is a virulent gene of the microbe rather than the microbe per se should be constantly associated with the disease manifestation so this is about molecular cost postulate okay so these are the various uh, contributions by robert koch then we can discuss the third eminent microbiologist that is paul elrich paul elrich again has laid down various a contribution like he is the inventor of the uh, acid fasting he is also known as father of chemotherapy as he has discovered a drug called as salvarsan for the treatment of syphilis the salvarsan was a drug which was called as magic bullet because it was the first drug which was used for treatment of infectious diseases hence he was known as father of uh, chemotherapy he is also introduced the side chain theory of antibody production elbridge phenomena which is a toxin anti toxin phenomena especially uh, uh, demonstrated for diphtheria toxin this was experimented on diphtheria uh, toxin so it was known as elbridge phenomenon elbridgea is a rickettsia group of microorganism which was named after paul elbridge elbridgea okay so these are the various contributions of paul elbridge other contributors like edward jenner he was known as the father of vaccine vaccinology he had discovered the first vaccine that is vaccine for smallpox by using cowpox he has used cowpox strains cowpox virus to vaccinate against smallpox other important contributors like anthony von leonak he is the inventor of simple microscope then raska e raska is the inventor of electron microscope electron microscope kerry b mullis kerry b mullis is the inventor of pcr polymerase chain reaction john collar is the inventor of Collar is the inventor of monoclonal antibody. He has discovered monoclonal antibody. So these are the some of the important contributors in the field of microbiology, which you can remember. There are various organisms which are named after the microorganism, uh, the uh, the microbiologists. Like uh, for example, Koch Wick bacillus. Yes, Haemophilus aegypticus. So there are various organisms named after the discoverers. Then Klebnophilus bacillus, Corynetin diphtheri. Okay, Eaton's agent. 
mycoplasma piffus bacillus the detail list is there in your, in your book you can have a look i am just outlining the important ones so the uh, it is the hemophilus influenza which is called as piffus bacillus okay so there are various microorganisms named after the discoverers fine so this is all about history then i will tell you a bit about bacterial taxonomy